Hey guys, I don't know about you all, but drop downs in Discord are really fancy. Do you want to learn how to add them to your Discord bot? Well, in this video, we're going to learn how, and it's actually really simple. So make sure you stick around and watch this entire video. First off, we do from next card input select option, and then we do from next card dot UI input view and select. Now we're going to add a select option to the hard command. So essentially, we can see here that we have parameters for label, value, description, and emoji. Now I'm going to add two more select options, and here you need to just make sure that the values for each of the options are different. Think of the values like keys to identify what the user selected in the drop down menu. Now we're going to add all of these select options to a select instance. So essentially we're going to say drop down equals select and placeholder is sort of like the default text that shows up and then the options are going to be a list of all the options that we initialized. And we set max values to 3 which basically means that the user can select multiple options in the drop down. Now, once the user selects all the options that they want to select from the dropdown, then we essentially want to execute some code, right? So to do that, we want to create a function, an asynchronous function, named dropdown underscore callback. Interaction is going to be the argument, and we're going to loop through dropdown.values. So dropdown.values is essentially a list of all the values that the user selected. And as you can see, the values that we have here are GIF, play, and feed, which are essentially category names for all the GIFs that the dog bot can send. Right? So what we can do is we can use that value to essentially send a random link from a list of links in that specific category. So to do that, we're essentially just going to do await ctx.send random.choice links and value. And then we also want to set the callback for dropdown by just doing dropdown.callback equals dropdown underscore callback. Now all we need to do is create a view to add the dropdown. So my view equals view and then we're going to set the timeout to 180 seconds and we're going to add dropdown to my view. And then we just need to pass in the argument view and set it equal to my view and ctx.send. Now we can just run our code and see the magic happen. So what would you like to do? Um, I want to play, I want to chill, and see we get a play diff and a chill diff. Now we can select as many as we want. So I can just select one and then click here and we get a feature. I can select all three and we get three gifs. So yeah, that's basically how you make drop downs in Nextcard and I think drop downs are like actually really cool. So you should definitely consider using them for your bot. Wait, I have something important to say. Why haven't you subscribed yet? I mean, you've come so far in the video and you haven't subscribed. Look, it's 100% free. You won't miss out on new videos and you'll help other coders find my channel. Also, make sure you hit the bell icon when you subscribe because then you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video. Okay, yeah, that's it. Bye.